Welcome back to Marwell Manor Farm for episode 36 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It is 10 to 5 in the afternoon and I'm doing another contract. This is the silage contract I was talking about in the last episode but I couldn't remember who it was for and it was Joe. Uh, Joe messaged me and when I went back through the messages, of course I found it, didn't I? That was the obvious thing. Um, I am your neighbour. Um, when you go to the end of field 18 you can see his farm right out in the distance. Um, I know you are new to the area. Well, I was new to the area when I got this contract, but obviously I'm not so much anymore. Uh, could you help me out with some silage? Say 250,000 litres. Last year was hot and we had to use ours to keep the cow feed. Uh, I will pay the going rate and a box of cheese for you to try. Now, as it happens, and this is one of those, another kind of fortuitous things that's happened. I've been making TMR for the cows. I moved a load of silage from this bunker because I said I've got loads in here. I haven't got to worry, so I was making TMR. So when Joe messaged me back, sent me the contract, um, I came in here and I had 273,000 litres. Only just over what he needs. So what I've done, I've used the milling machine. We've got 55,000 litres in here, which means we're going to have to do a few, few loads. What I'm probably going to do is just empty this bunker silo. So I'll do what's in here. So it'll be 273,000 litres, Joe. I hope that's okay. Um, we're going to take it to... Um, yeah, that's a tricky one. He needs it at his farm. And then he's going to pay me for it. But I don't know the best way of going about that. I thought about taking it to the biogas plant. But the problem with taking it to the biogas plant, it goes into the digester and it gets used. Which is not what he wants. He wants the silage. Hmm, that's a tricky one. I'll just have to take it to him, I guess. Yeah, anyway. Uh, what I was going to say, though, um, as a kind of test, I took a couple of thousand litres over. And something I haven't used this for, I don't do a huge amount of silage to sell at the bunker silo. Uh, I wish the bunker silo, the biogas plant. Um, but the beauty about this, the Anna Burger, um, is if you've got the, the BGAs, the biogas plant that's got a raised um, digester, rather than the ones you can tip into on the floor, if I do L1 and press that down and lift the back up, you can actually back that right over the biogas plant cell point and it will tip. No problem at all into a raised digester. Sometimes you get odd ones on maps where it says um, this vehicle's not. You won't, in essence, it won't let you tip. But normally it works fine. Anyway, uh, cover up. So I say it's going to be a few runs. He did say pay me the going rate. I don't know what. What side is going for at the moment? We'll have to check. Yeah, so his farm, we go out onto the main road, turn right, down past Rainbow Ridge stores, and the entrance to his farm is across the countryside, kind of that direction. But anyway, so yeah, this is the first load. I'll do the rest and I'll clear out that bunk silo. We are waiting on the cows to produce enough milk to fulfill the milk contract. Um, and we're not going to be far off done. I'm probably going to see you in the morning now, I would imagine. Probably. Should be indicating really. Can I see traffic coming that side? We seem to be alright. I always say that and pull out in front of a cement mixer. Right. See you in the morning.
it's just gone eight o'clock in the morning the cows aren't quite there yet i think we're over fifty thousand liters i think uh but i did have a load of wool sitting in the uh barn here so i thought what i need to do is load up the trailer and get this sold i can line this up properly try and in cab again got to keep having a go at you just need to put the boom out a bit i think there we go I don't hit the other one. Looks about right, but I need to go past. Does that look about right or not? Hard to tell, probably right in the middle, aren't I? Yeah, that'll do. Oh dear, it's so much easier out of cab. Right, that's still on the go. Um, actually, I can turn the lights off in here now. What I will also show you, let's just have a quick quiz round here. The bunker silo is empty. All of the silage, 270, I think it was 271 in the end. 271,000 litres have gone off to Joe. I think it works out that if you did it at the biogas plant about 100,000 so at some point we'll get 100,000 from Joe but that's done bunker silos empty I've been round and done all the animals sheep are okay cows have been cleaned out let's move this we'll go and sell the wool or what we have it actually I don't know should I wait just thinking by the time the cows are ready with enough milk for our final contract I might have some more wool, might I? Potentially. But while I'm driving this back. So, contracts I didn't get to. Contracts I didn't complete. I've spoken to Aaron already. Aaron messaged me yesterday. And Aaron was asking me for 200,000 litres of potatoes. I said I might roll that over to the next Let's Play I do with subscriber contracts. I don't know when that's going to be. Which Let's Play. It's not going to be the next one, I don't think. Um, but Aaron was absolutely fine with that. Uh, I've got one for um, Dusty. Uh, cows go moo. I've got one for him. I've mentioned that as well about um, 20 sheep moving them from Sandy Bay to my farm because they had a load of new spring lambs and they didn't have the room and could I look after some of the older sheep. Um, so hopefully I'll do that at some point. I did say about popping to Oakfield. So possibly after this I might pop to Oakfield for a couple of episodes, not a full Let's Play, but maybe a couple of episodes. So I might do that there. Um, that's not going to, again, it's not going to be a subscriber contract Let's Play, but it will just be a little bit of a carryover. Um, Dusty um, and his wife had an idea about me leasing Field 11, um, and they wanted me to sew it with sugar beets because their family have a family recipe for kettle corn. Uh, they sell at festivals. Um, they were giving kettle corn for munching while I was working and 20 head of cattle because I'd already done a massive sugar beet harvest on field 18 I didn't do that one because it would be a, a, another episode of doing sugar beet and you know, I didn't know whether people would want to sit and watch a whole another episode that one potentially I could roll over as well if you want me to Dusty that's incredibly generous of you um, but if you want me to I can roll that over let's turn the lights off on that we're going to wait for that to go a little bit more. Um, I had one for... Oh, there. That one I might still do. Not sure yet. Chief Butler for Marwell Manor. We're waiting on the milk. Moo Moo Dairy. Now, this was an interesting one. This was doing a 24-hour TMR challenge, um, which was intriguing, I'll be honest, but I was trying to fit it in with all the other things I was doing. It says here, Moo Moo Dairy Farms has a problem. The cow's food has been contaminated. They're in dire need of fresh TMR. They are willing to pay three times the going rate. They need 160,000 litres of TMR within 24 hours. But it must be fresh. Nothing can come from old storage. You can't use existing bales or anything like that. It must be all fresh cut ingredients. You can place the TMR at the spot of your choice. Um, Moo Moo Farms will be there in 24 hours. If you complete the task, they'll pay me 82,800. If you're even one minute past 24 hours, you get nothing. Uh, the contract will start from the minute I say I accept it. 
Now the problem with this I had was I was trying to fit it in amongst all the other jobs I was doing, all the other contracts, and I was trying to work out where I'd have a free run at it. And then obviously the um, milling machine came out, as did Jim's silo, which took forage and all sorts of things, which kind of, I know in a way, rendered this one a little bit too easy in that because I could do it all loose and put it into that silo, and then make the total mix ration from there, it kind of lost its... Um, the whole 24-hour thing would have been, oh, you know, try and get it all done. But I think I would have done it too easily in that 24 hours. So, I'm sorry, bud. I, like I say, because I, he did say he liked the idea, but he wanted it to be more challenging. And at the time of sending me this one, it was a challenge. Um, you know what, I think I am going to wait for another one. Sorry, I'm just I'm trying to explain away... A few of the different ones. Um, from Richard, Ranger Tom, Marwell Zoo. Um, and they asked if they could have eight straw, grass and hay bales on a daily basis. Um, and they would get their land train tractor to pick them up in the morning and bring it back in the evening. Um, again, the problem with that I had was I had so many bale contracts and I was doing so many like big quantities of bales to have enough every single day on hand to do eight of each and deliver them. And it was one of those ones that just kind of slipped through the net then once I'd done a load. So again, Richard, I apologise. I didn't get onto that one. Um, this one, the last one here I've got, this is for Stephen and this was a fascinating one. And I'll be honest with you, Stephen, I had a go. Uh, I'm just trying to think, what do I need to do now? I'm just waiting on the cows, really. Oh, field 18 has been cultivated. I did that. Um, yeah, this was for FAST. And I don't know if I mentioned this. This was Forestry Agricultural Recreation Service, Service Executive, FAST. Um, they wanted to hire my land for 200000 And they wanted me to build an uh, off-road recreation site. The idea to get general public using the countryside, opening new business opportunity, opportunities and improve rural business economy. On the land or woodland around my estate, they would like a track and turning cycle, if not a loop with a shelter to house a 4x4 truck and small utility vehicle like a gator. I could have use of the vehicles on weekdays as they would only operate weekends. They didn't want uh, them washed as their clients wanted them dirty and they would pay for vehicles and shelter and any landscaping costs. They wanted me to include splash ponds, lakes or rivers, that kind of thing. Now, I'll be honest, Stephen, I had a go offline. I saved the game and had a go at landscaping and, and tried it and I made an absolute hash of it. Um, I really struggled to get it to work well um, and I thought rather than do a real kind of bodge job of it and it looked terrible... Um, I, I honestly, hand and heart, gave it a go and it, I couldn't get it right. Um, so, again, it's a fantastic contract. I love the concept, the idea. I just couldn't make it work. Um, but anyway, possibly, maybe on another Let's Play, when I get a little bit better with me uh, uh, landscaping, potentially we get, might get some other different mods and bits and bobs and I might be able to get onto that. So I, I apologise. So the two, really that I was finishing off in this episode. One was the silage, done that. That's done for Joe. Um, the next one is going to be the milk. Once the milk is done, that is my final contract. The wool I'm just going to take and sell because it's wool that's sitting on the farm. And that'll be me done. So the next time I see you, I mean, I've got enough to do one load of milk now. I suppose that's what I should do, really. I've got enough to do the first load. So you know what? Let's take the first load. I think I need about 70,000 litres to fulfil the contract. 16,000 gallons was what was asked for. Um, and I think I've got enough to fill this up. This is only a 32, isn't it, I think? Pretty sure it is. Lucky enough the gate open. That round. Did that better than I did last time, eh? Gate post last time. Swing this round in here. We've got a lot of manure piled up there, and I think we've got a lot of slurry too. So let's fill this up. 
We'll take the first load anyway. I think we're there. We are. Let's fill it up. Yeah, I might as well get the first bit of this one done. So yeah, to all those guys, I apologise. Like I say, at, at one point I think I had 30 plus contracts on hand and I was working through them as best as I could and it um, got a bit complicated. But yeah, if you remember this one for the milk, I've done two contracts for milk already. Uh, they've both gone in previous episodes. And this was from the chief butler for the Lord of the Manor. And they wanted eggs and milk. Eggs I've been delivering regularly. Um, and they did supply me with 20 chickens and 10 cows to help with this. So 32,000 litres, we're off. Let's get lights on. It's starting to get a little bit dim, isn't it? What time is it? It's starting to get a little bit dim. It's not the evening, it's the morning. Until it brightens up a bit. Four grand, that's not bad at all, is it? So it's the first 32,000, so the next lot will take me to 64,000 litres, so yeah, I'm going to need another run and a little bit. So I'll see you later on, um, and I'll get the last of this milk done. Then we'll get the wool delivered. Yeah, wow. all this time all these episodes all these subscriber contracts and thank everybody thank you thank you thank you so much for sending them all in we are nearly at an end wow we are back at the dairy and some time has passed some considerable amount of time has passed we've been paid by joe we have got 936,000, and this is going to be another one of those interesting ones can I hit a million before we finish? Potentially. Yes, it depends what this goes for. The last load was 44,000. So, we are on, yeah, the next day over. This is 32,000. I think we've got about, oh, I can't remember how much we've got in there. We'll have a look in a second. What we've got available. <laughs> this is going to be so close. <laughs> Curious. 36. All prices dropped on milk then. So, uh, if we scroll across, I think I've reached a maximum with the chickens, haven't I? 441. Must have done. Because that hasn't gone up from 441 for a while. Uh, sheep are doing fine. 
cows, 17,000 litres left. So I'm going to bring the whole 17. Realistically, I only need about 6,000 of that to reach the 70,000 litres I needed. It might have been 71, somewhere around there. So I'm going to bring the whole lot. We'll go back and get that in a second. And that'll be the last bit of that. I have put over the wall. And I did say I was going to wait and see if I got any more. We got almost, almost 12 bales. Uh, we got all of these, which way around was it? All of these full. That last one there just didn't quite finish off. But other than that, not too bad. Pulled it over in the trusty bin with the trusty armour track. Take those off. Seriously. I have to tip these, this is going to be horrendous if I have to tip them off. Fine. If that's the way you want to play it. That's not quite how I wanted to unload them. 13,441. But 986, I don't know if we're going to do it, you know. I don't think we will. Because what I'm going to do is leave this here. This will be picked up by another member of staff. And on the way back, actually, no, I won't. I'll take it back to the store. I need to get another piece of equipment. So I'm going to take this back. The tanker will go back over to the farm. On the way back with this, I'm going to grab another piece of equipment. Um, and we are almost there. Almost. <laughs> I can't believe I'm somewhere like that. Mind you, I've probably got some crops or something I could sell, haven't I? If I really wanted to get to a million. Now, I did have a contract and I nearly read it out earlier from Toxin Cram. That's actually an anagram. Um, and it was for Capaccio. They wanted three cows. They've come from Italy um, and they wanted three cows for making Carpaccio. But I haven't got the heart to sell them. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be doing it. I know it sounds ridiculous. It's just a game, isn't it? It's just. You know, I know that's what animals are for, aren't they? But... Sorry, Mr. Cox. I just can't bear to part with them. Probably the last time at the store as well. I drop one thing off. I'll pick up something else. I'll see you in a minute then. Back for the last load of milk. The final milk run. Okay, last 17,000 litres of milk. The final milk run. The final contract. For the chief butler of the Lord of the Manor. Thank you, Frank. It's an interesting contract. It's taken me a long while to get here to get enough cows. Are we going to do it? Haha, <laughs> a million. We did it. Only just, though. Fantastic. Okay, so this is it. Oh, that reminds me. Rob, there are going to be workers on hand to look after Delirious, should you need it. Generate your food. Um, but if you want to come and collect her, you're more than welcome. Or 
I suppose there's no reason why I couldn't take it with me, but then you'd have to find where I am. And I don't know where I'm going yet, so we'll see. But anyway, Delirious is fine, no problems at all. The farm is going to be left in very safe hands now. Um, I was brought in by the family from Felsburn, if you remember, way, way back at the start of the Let's Play. We sh shipped, shipped, we shipped the baked bean over from Felsburn. Um, and we started out with very little over here on the farm. And my job was to get the contracts done, get it all sorted, and uh, kind of look after the farm. Well, we've just tipped over a million. Now, every time we've made a big chunk of money, I've bought new machinery, I've bought fields, I've done all sorts of stuff. So the fact we've just tipped over a million, we've got all the equipment really we needed. We've got a load of stuff that we haven't used. Actually, I'm swing around that way. That we haven't used for a little while. Just going to jump out of there. There's one thing I need to do before I leave, because I made a promise. I made a promise to the Wombles that whatever happened, wherever I went, I would look after Jeremy. Jeremy is the one brown sheep amongst all the white ones. So what we'll do now, let's put the back down on there. Click on that. Oh, now that's going to be interesting. There we go move sheep brown that's jeremy that back up we have our one brown sheep in there jeremy will be coming with me like i say everything else is going to be looked after i'm not selling all the rest of the stuff off or anything like that so that's it we're off um where to? I think first stop is going to be Oakfield. Like I say, I'm probably going to do an episode, maybe a couple, I don't know. It's not going to be a full Let's Play, but they did help me out. I went over to buy cows from them, and I said I would help out if they needed it. So I'll probably pop over there, maybe do a couple of episodes. Oh, better shut the gate there. It's been fun, this Let's Play. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the map. I know it's taken a long time to get to this point. Like I say, with all sorts of stuff going on, I haven't done the Let's Play episodes on here as regularly as I'd have liked to have done. But there we go. So, heading off. Money in the bank. Farm's doing well. Contract's complete. Jeremy's in the back. Fantastic. Couldn't be happier. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play. If you have, give us a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. There would be traffic, wouldn't there? Thanks for watching. <laughs>